Come on into the library. It's a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Milton Wordsworth. Shelley and Jackson. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Come and be a story. Hello. Has everybody gone? The sun is down, the stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Milton Wordsworth, story maker and magical maestro, at your service. Football! Cake! Football! Cake! Football! Cake! Football. Excuse me, Cake! you two, what the dickens are you arguing about? Our favourite day of the week. Mm. Oh, that has to be poetry reading day. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Football! Cake! Poetry! Cake! Poetry! Football! Oh, oh, hang on a minute. Why are we arguing about which day is best? Let's make a story about it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> mm. That's the librarian's calendar. Oh, she won't mind. Oh. Just one thing to add. A little imagination. Why don't you join in? Imagine. Imagine. Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. It's a playbook. It's called Grace and Jessie's Week. For Grace and Jessica, Monday is a fun day. A bouncing, bouncing run day. A cartwheeling, rolling fun day in the Sunday. Tuesday is blues day. Blue slide and can. Watering with care. Blue clothes and brush. Blue brush on hair. Not forgetting the plastic blue chair. Tuesday, blues day. Blue, blue shoes day. Wednesday, quiet time with Pen's Day. Making pictures for Friends Day. That's Wednesday. Thursday, of course, is Purr's Day. Brushing Kitty and Woof's Fur's Day. That's Thursday. Friday, a kite up in the sky day. A sunny, windy, dry day. Kite caught up high day on Friday. Saturday is chatter day. A chitter, chatter, natter day. Natter all through Saturday and Sunday is fun day another fun day on a summer's sunny Sunday uh, 
Oh, well, my favourite day of the week was Pen's Day. I, I love drawing and painting and making things. In fact, I'm just off to do some now. Bye-bye. <laughs> well, my favourite was Sunday and Monday fun day, because that's when I can play football. Oh, I would love it if I was a footballer. No problem. <laughs> oh, wow. Thanks a lot, Milton. <laughs> On me head, son. <laughs> hey! Goal! I'm over the moon. But, Milton, I've lost the ball. Oh, never mind, old fellow. The story machine will take good care of it. Come on, Jackson. We'll need some imagination here. Oh, I've got lots of imagination when it comes to football. Aha! Imagine! Imagine! Imagine, imagine a story! It's a Jack Spratt and Tickle Cat story. Do you think it's about football? Well, it's called Football Crazy. Well, like me. Jack Spratt and Treacle Cat lived in a bin. A bin that people drop rubbish in. While Treacle dreams, Jack Spratt schemes. What will Jack Spratt make today? Yuck! Ugh, those pesky pigeons have been leaving their calling cards here again. It's a right old mess. What this bin needs is a bit of good old spit and polish. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like the roof is falling in. What are you up to, Jack? Just getting the pitch ready for a bit of footy, Treacle. Fancy a kick around, mate? A bit of footy? Yes, mate. Kicking the old ball. Football fever, you know what I mean? Good game, good game. Good game? Oh, I don't think so, Jack. Uh, not quite my scene. <laughs> yeah, take a look at this little treasure, Treacle. See this? You're looking at the Rat League Footy Cup. How about that, then? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it looks like a piece of junk to me. Ooh, uh, better use some of me fancy footwork now, Treacle. It sounds like someone's coming quick. Hey, this is just the stuff I need to make a goal out of. Hey! Is he, Jack? Cricket's more my game. Ah, yes, when I was captain of the Cat Cricket Club. What? <laughs> I bowled them over. I was the cat's whiskers in my whites. <laughs> oh, I knocked them for a six with my super spins. I'm football crazy. I'm football mad. I'm football crazy. Oh, I'm football what mad. A racket, I'm football that rat crazy. I'm, uh, here, take a look at this tree, call me old mate. I'm oh. testing out me silky skills. Oh, <laughs> oh. 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 silky skills. <laughs> Ropey, more like. The trouble with you is, Treacle, you can't spot talent when it hits you in the face. Yeah, what do you think about my goal? Oh, <laughs> well, uh, Looks a bit on the fragile side to me, Jack. And it's Jack Spratt running down the wing. Yes, he's doing some tricky dribbling, some glorious footwork. Oh, he takes on the goalkeeper. It looks like it's going to be a glorious goal. He goes up for the header and oh! Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh Treacle, I'm caught out. Yeah, looks like you scored an own goal there, Jack. Oh, yes, very funny, you furry feline. Uh -huh. Just get me out of here, Treacle. Me snout's all snagged up. What a perfect piece of play. <laughs> mm, I bet I could play football better than Jack Spratt. At least I scored a goal. But I wish I had my ball. Oh, hello, Jelly. Oh, what's this? Hello, Jackson. Um, uh, well, because I like Penn's Day, I I've drawn you a picture of a football pitch. <gasps> mm, and I made you a football game oh, to play. brilliant. Oh, brilliant. Mm. Thank you. What's this we've got there, then? Oh, hello, Milton. Um, I was just saying, uh, because I like drawing and Jackson likes um, football, I I've made him a football pitch and a game. Would you like to play it? Oh, wonderful, Jelly. A mm. game of blow football. Let's have a match, Jackson. Mm. Right. I must warn you, I'm good at this. Back in my day, I was blow football champion. Oh, I was simply magic. Oh, he's off again. Milton, put your straw where your mouth is and blow. Come on, Jackson. Come on, Milton. Oh. <laughs> well, it was quite a number of years ago when I last played. I bet if we were to have another go, I would most certainly score a goal. No question. Oh, Milton, I would hate to see you beaten again. Anyway, I want another football story. Oh, Jelly, can we put the game in the story machine? Oh, uh, well, 
nice person. Oh, come on then, Milton. Oh, <laughs> Are you ready to help with the magic ingredient? Imagine, 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 imagine a story! It's a blue cow story! Yes! Blue cow scores at Wembley. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue Cow wonders, wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow noticed something in her field. It was a football. I wonder what it would be like to play football. She's off again, said the other cows. So, Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a ticket to somewhere to play football, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for a football match. <laughs> and then they arrived. When Blue Cow got off the bus, she could hardly believe her eyes. She was on a huge football pitch, surrounded by footballers, some in red and some in blue. Come on, girl, I see you're one of the blues, said a friendly man called Dave, and she ran after him. The air was filled with the shouts and hoots of thousands of fans. Mm, ooh, said Blue Cow, this field is bigger and noisier than mine. This is Wembley, smiled Dave, it's the cup final. What exactly do I have to do? asked Blue Cow. Get the ball in the net, grinned Dave. But watch out for the referee. He's the one with the whistle. The football match began. Blue Cow ran at the ball, knocking over lots of red players as she went. The whistle sounded and the referee waved something yellow at her. You're not supposed to knock everyone over, said Dave. Now you've got a yellow card. Another one of those and you'll be sent off. Sorry, said Blue Cow. She decided to cheer herself up by eating some grass. The whistle sounded again. Now eat in the pitch, growled the referee. Just when Blue Cow was beginning to think that playing football wasn't much fun, Dave passed her the ball and she started to run. Then with a flick and a flack and a great little tap, she scored for the Blues. Everyone went wild. Blue Cow scored three more goals. One was a header, one was a hoofer, and one was a bit of a loop the looper. Geronimo! Blue Cow was a heroine. She'd won the cup for the Blues. <laughs> Blue Cow is an ace footballer. Go! <laughs> I like the way Blue Cow played for the blue team. <laughs> Look, we've got so carried away the morning has crept up on us. The dawn is upon us. The morning is nigh. We've made our stories and we bid you goodbye. Story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Bye, story makers. See you again soon. the magic ingredient. Imagine, 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 imagine a story. It's a blue cow story. Yes. Blue cow scores at Wembley. 
In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue cow wonders, wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow noticed something in her field. It was a football. I wonder what it would be like to play football. She's off again, said the other cows. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a ticket to somewhere to play football, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for a football match. And then they arrived. When Blue Cow got off the bus, she could hardly believe her eyes. She was on a huge football pitch, surrounded by footballers, some in red and some in blue. Come on, girl, I see you're one of the blues," said a friendly man called Dave, and she ran after him. The air was filled with the shouts and hoots of thousands of fans. Moo!、Mm-hmm, said Blue Cow. This field is bigger and noisier than mine. This is Wembley," smiled Dave. "It's the cup final. What exactly do I have to do?" asked Blue Cow. "Get the ball in the net," grinned Dave. "But watch out for the referee. He's the one with the whistle." The football match began. Blue Cow ran at the ball, knocking over lots of red players as she went. The whistle sounded, and the referee waved something yellow at her. You're not supposed to knock everyone over," said Dave. "Now you've got a yellow card. Another one of those, and you'll be sent off." "Sorry," said Blue Cow. She decided to cheer herself up by eating some grass. The whistle sounded again. "No eating the pitch," growled the referee. Just when Blue Cow was beginning to think that playing football wasn't much fun. Dave passed her the ball, and she started to run. Then, with a flick and a flack and a great little tap, she scored for the Blues. Everyone went wild. Blue Cow scored three more goals. One was a header, one was a hoofer, and one was a bit of a. It's a playbook. It's called Grace and Jessie's Week. For Grace and Jessica. Monday is a fun day, a bouncing, bouncing run day, a cartwheeling, rolling fun day in the Sunday. Tuesday is Blues Day, blue slide and can watering with care. Blue clothes and brush. Blue brush on hair. Not forgetting the plastic blue chair. Tuesday, blues day. Blue blue shoes day. Wednesday, quiet time with pens day. Making pictures. For Friends Day. That's Wednesday. Thursday, of course, is Purs Day. Brushing Kitty and Woof's Furs Day. That's Thursday. Friday, a kite up in the sky day. A sunny, windy, dry day. Kite caught up high day. On Friday. Saturday is chatter day. A chitter, chatter, natter day. Natter all through Saturday. And Sunday. Is fun day another fun day on a summer's 
sunny Sunday. Ah, oh, well, my favourite day of the week was Pen's Day. Ah, uh, I love drawing and painting and making things. In fact, I'm just off to do some now. Bye bye. <laughs> well, my favourite was Sunday and Monday Fun Day because that's when I can play football. Oh, I would love it if I was a footballer. No problem. <laughs> oh, wow! Mix with my super spins. I'm football crazy. I'm football mad. I'm football. Ball crazy, oh, I'm football what mad. A racket, I'm football that crazy. I'm, uh, here, take a look at this tree, call me old mate. I'm oh. testing out me silky skills. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh. silky skills, <laughs> ropey more like. The trouble with you is, Treacle, you can't spot talent when it hits you in the face. Yeah, what do you think about my goal? <laughs> oh, well, it looks a bit on the fragile side to me, Jack. <laughs> And it's Jack Spratt running down the wing. Yes, he's doing some tricky dribbling, some glorious footwork. Oh, he takes on the goalkeeper. It looks like it's going to be a glorious goal. He goes up for the header and oh! Oh, 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 yeah. oh Treacle, I'm caught out. Yeah, looks like you scored an own goal there, Jack. Oh, yes, very funny, you furry feline. Uh, uh, Just get me out of here, Treacle. Uh, Me snout's all snagged up. Uh, What a perfect piece of play. (laughs) Mm, I bet I could play football better than Jack Spratt. (laughs) At least I scored a goal. (sighs) But I wish I had my ball. Hello, Jelly. Oh, what's this? Hello, Jackson. Um, uh, well, because I like Pen's Day, I- I've drawn you a picture of a football pitch. Oh. Mm, I- and I made you a football game oh, to play. brilliant. Mm. Oh, thank you. What's this we've got there, then? Oh, hello, Milton. Um, I was just saying, uh, because I like drawing and Jackson likes um, football, I- I've made him a football pitch and a game. Would you like to play it? Oh, wonderful, Jelly. A mm. game of blow football. Let's have a match, Jackson. Mm. Right. I must warn you, I'm good at this. Back in my day, I was blow football champion. Oh, I was simply magic. Oh, he's off again. Milton, put your straw where your mouth is and blow. Come on, Jackson. Come on, Milton. Well, it was quite a number of years ago when I last played. Uh, I bet if we were to have another go, I would most certainly score a goal. No question. Oh, Milton, I would hate to see you beaten again. Mm. Anyway, I want another football story. Oh, Oh, Jelly, can we put the game in the story machine? Oh, uh, well, I suppose so. Oh, come on then, Milton. (laughs) Are you ready to help with the magic ingredient? Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. It's a blue cow story. Yes. Blue cow scores at Wembley. In a field not far away is a herd of cows. Great. Best. Let's make a story about it. Oh, thank you. Mm. But that's the librarian's calendar. Oh, she won't mind. Just one thing to add. A little imagination. Why don't you join in? Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. It's a playbook. It's called Grace and Jessie's Week. For Grace and Jessica, Monday is a fun day. A bouncing, bouncing run day. A cartwheeling, rolling fun day in the Sunday. Tuesday is Blues Day. Blue slide and can. Watering with care. Blue clothes and brush. Blue brush on hair. Not forgetting the plastic blue chair. Tuesday, 
Blues Day. Blue, Blue Shoes Day. Wednesday, Quiet Time with Pens Day. Making pictures for Friends Day. That's Wednesday. Thursday, of course, is Purr's Day. Brushing Kitty and Woof's Fur's Day. That's Thursday. Friday, a kite up in the sky day. A sunny, windy, dry day. Kite caught up high day on Friday. Saturday is Chatter Day. A chitter, chatter, natter day. Natter all through Saturday. And Sunday is Fun Day. Another fun day. On a summer's sunny Sunday.